Hello, my name is Katrina Thompson. I'm a scientist systems engineer at L3 Harris Technologies, military training division in Arlington, Texas. I'm going to talk to you today about engineering the big picture. Specifically, engineering the big picture with systems engineering. First, I'm going to tell you a little bit about engineering. I'm going to give you some examples of types of engineers. One type of engineer is a civil engineer. A civil engineer builds bridges, builds roads, builds buildings. Matter of fact, a civil engineer had a hand in building your school. Next, electrical engineer. Electrical engineering is the bachelor's degree that I have. There are two types of electrical engineers, two concepts under electrical engineering, to be more specific. One is electricity. Electricity is things that power electronics, things that power anything that has to come alive, such as your television, such as your computer, or such as your cell phone. The other portion of electrical engineering is computers and robotics. Computers, an electrical engineer will design the circuitry inside your computer or inside a robot. Next is mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering is the oldest form of engineering there is. A mechanical engineer designs motors, designs windmills. For example, an engine in a car. A mechanical engineer is responsible for that design. Next is chemical engineering. Chemical engineering are kind of like chemists. They work in labs. Mostly, they work in labs. For example, chemical engineers work with food. They help design food. They help design tastes for food and different ingredients in food, such as different types of potato chips. We have barbecue potato chips, original potato chips, and my favorite, sour cream and onion potato chips. Next, there's a computer engineer. A computer engineer builds computers, programs computers. Think of your video games. When the animation moves from one side of the screen to the other, a computer engineer programs that animation to do so. Lastly, I want to talk about systems engineering. I've explained to you several different types of engineers. Systems engineer is all encompassing. Systems engineers know a little about almost all disciplines. They are the overall arching architect of anything that's designed. Systems engineers go in and they start at the beginning of a project through the end of a project. Later, we'll discuss a small project in which systems engineering can be used to accomplish the goal. Next up, systems engineering. The big picture. One main goal and one main objective that systems engineers use is called the systems engineering V model. Formed like a V. The systems engineering V model has different aspects. Start at the top, it's the concept of operation. How do things work? What's your idea? What are you trying to accomplish? What are the needs? This is followed by requirements. Requirements are things that your project must have in order to work, in order to work properly, or in order to work the way you want them to work. Next is design. You want to put your idea on paper, make drawings, make sketches. This is called design and system architecture. Yes, just like an architect draws blueprints. Next, is your time to create. 
Create your project. Create what you're doing from your design. Get all the pieces that you need, the physical hardware, the physical things that you can touch. Make your drawing come alive. After you make your drawing come alive, you go into integration. You start putting pieces together. You start putting animations into computing systems. And after you make your idea come alive through integration, then you go into a testing phase. Once you test, then you verify and validate. After verification and validation, you're ready to show off your design. I'm gonna give you a small example. Jazz Booker. Jazz Booker is a fifth grade student at Toll's Montessori School in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'm good friends with Jazz's mom and she told me about his project and allowed me to share it with you. Jazz's project, which sponge can hold the most water? Jazz did his concept of operation and included his hypothesis. What he thought would happen at the end. He thought the Dawn sponge would hold the most water. After his concept of operation, of what he wanted to do and accomplish with his project, he wrote requirements. What are the things that he needs? Must have water. Must have bowls to hold the water. Must measure the water. Before and after you put it in the bowl. Next up, design. Sketch it out. Draw it out. After design, make your drawing come to life. Gather the bowls. Gather all of your materials. You're ready to go into integration. You're ready to put those materials together, put the water in the bowl, put the sponge in the water, start your measuring. Once you've done this, you can start your test. Test to see, is your hypothesis true? After you test, you may want to validate. Validate that your test results are good. Validate that what you've seen and recorded as your results meet the requirements that you stated at the front of the V-model. Next, you're ready to feel. You're done. You're ready to show off your project. That's how a systems engineer can be involved in every aspect of a design. Anything you can touch and feel. A school desk, a school building, even a bicycle. I hope you've enjoyed my small conversation on systems engineering. Thank you and have a wonderful day.